In this video, we are going to talk about how to render fusion charts in uh, React framework. Well, uh, fusion charts is a charting library where you can render JavaScript charts in the browser. Uh, fusion charts have a lot of variation of charts. Uh, could be a simple column and line based charts, pie charts and complex chart types like a scatter chart, XY Cartesian plots, uh, Marimeco charts, shared related stock related charts waterfall charts, guard chart, uh, drag, draggable charts, and all. So uh, there's a quick guide on uh, how you can start with fusion charts in their website. Uh, feel free to look uh, through them. Uh, it has got a numerous amount of examples uh, where you can see uh, and uh, create those visualizations as per your use case. Uh, but uh, the goal of this tutorial here is to render a fusion charts in the React framework. Uh, for that, uh, we are going to the GitHub repo of Fusion Charts, where uh, they have created a Fusion Charts React component. We, uh, we are going to just simply install those uh, components as well as Fusion Charts via npm or yarn. Then uh, we just import uh, Fusion Charts uh, in the component, uh, probably in the main component, probably preferably. Uh, then we just use the data source. Uh, for example, here uh, the static data source is used, but uh, in your case it could be different. Uh, you can uh, fetch it from an API call or maybe from a uh, database or from a backend service. Uh, so it uh, supports all, like Fusion Charts uh, can render those kind of data uh, sources as well. And uh, finally, we just uh, call the Fusion Charts component. Uh, in this case, uh, we have just imported uh, React Fusion Charts and give them an, and give them an alias of React FC, um, and Fusion Charts is uh, rendered here under the React DOM dot render. So I'm gonna replicate a similar kind of scenario um, in uh, Code Sandbox uh, Fiddle, so that uh, we can actually learn uh, along the way, and I can, sh I can show you like what are the things that you need to. Uh, do while rendering this chart. So in this example, I have just created a skeleton application where uh, it's a React application where uh, I'm just calling a uh, child component called charts where uh, we are going to include uh, fusion charts. So to use uh, fusion charts, uh, you can either way like uh, import fusion charts here in the main component or uh, maybe in the child component as well, if your uh, one component has a requirement of only uh, like uh, chart option, uh, like you need a only charting visualization in that specific component, uh, you can use that. So the first thing we need to do is like, you need to import uh, uh, React. then uh, probably we also need to import uh, React DOM as well. Uh, the second thing uh, we need is like, uh, we need uh, Fusion Charts and the React component of Fusion Charts. Uh, so for that, we just gonna install a few dependencies. So this is the way how you can install dependencies in uh, uh, Code Sandbox. So this way, uh, then we just import, uh, just copy the same thing, import fusion charts from, I think fusion charts. Uh, then the next thing that comes up is like the chart uh, that I want to render. Say for example, if I want to render simple charts, for example, column 2D and all, uh, I can simply import the uh, charts.charts package. Just import this one. Uh, then uh, I simply use uh, the React FC package, uh, the React component of Fusion Charts. Uh, the, then uh, what we need to do is we need to pass all these uh, import uh, as a dependency so that uh, the react component uh, of fusion charts uh, understand like these are the uh, files uh, it needs to load in order to render the chart so we just used uh, fusion charts here 
we'll just import fusion charts and charts okay so yeah i think uh, we are good now uh, the next stage would be uh, creating the data source so i have already uh, uh, have like a data source which i just used that uh, from the github repo i'm just pasting those here so it's a data source uh, it's a data source for column 2d chart for example uh, it has got few objects uh, for uh, first of all is the chart object where you just specify all the chart related uh, attributes the cosmetics and and all um, and the second one is the data object where you pass uh, the data in a key value pair uh, the first is the label label will uh, come at the x-axis and value would be the value of that particular x-axis plot uh, whenever the chart renders it will be easier for me to understand uh, to uh, to uh, showcase those things mm. Uh, the next thing would be to call this method probably so we would be using react fc so react fc is nothing but uh, this one and we just pass the chart configs okay so it was complaining about this one so let me just uh, change that to a different name uh, chart slip maybe sorry chart slip so the next error which is complaining about is react fc not defined uh, Okay, so here I've just missed that. Uh, I'm not going to change that as well. All right. So you see, like uh, the chart has already been rendered. Uh, it already shows that. Uh, uh, the, uh, you can actually also load a theme here. Um, theme is uh, like nothing but a set of attributes uh, that you can easily use uh, to make the chart look. Uh, prettier so let me use fusion here okay so I need to pass this as well uh -huh. oh, react dom is not required here we are not using react dom I can remove that okay uh, I think I need to load this iframe yeah so as soon as i load that uh, you see like uh, the chart visualization changed and uh, it has all the new cosmetics uh, being applied automatically so yeah that's uh, it how you render a fusion charts in the react framework uh, so if you want to have this width in dynamic size you set that in percentage it will automatically add up to the container uh, view frames uh, width uh, yeah, that's all. Uh, I will recommend you to go through the documentation. There are a lot of things that you can do. You can change the uh, x-axis name. You can change the x-axis color and a lot of other stuffs which are related to the core functionality of Fusion Charts. But uh, in this uh, video was mostly about how you can render in React. Uh, yeah, uh, and in this uh, video, I have showcased like how you can render in JavaScript. But uh, it, you can also render uh, Fusion Charts in uh, using TypeScript as well. If your uh, React, apps, uh, React app is uh, implemented in TypeScript, you can use that as well. Uh, maybe in the later tutorial, I will uh, showcase uh, how you can render that um, using TypeScript. Till then, uh, let me know. Like, uh, If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment. I'll uh, try to respond to those uh, accordingly. Thanks.